the turkeys, the macaroni and cheeses, the stuffing. They're called comfort foods. Have a bad day. Want to feel a little bit better, get some mac and cheese, some fried chicken. But these favorites are killing us, says Bruce Johnson, the longtime news anchor at Channel 9. Johnson's documentary titled Before You Eat the Church Food explores the role black churches play in the lives of African Americans. I wanted it to be about people that were everyday people, your minister, doctors, people like myself. 20 years ago, Johnson was only 42 when he suffered a massive heart attack. Since then, he's been eating healthy and striving to live a more active lifestyle. You had what we call premature coronary artery disease, secondary to the elevated cholesterol. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States, killing more than one million people a year. And African Americans are at a higher risk of developing the disease. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in Prince George's County. It accounts for about 25% of the deaths. And when we look at diabetes, um, similarly, it's the fifth leading cause of death. Consider this, 67% of adults are considered overweight or obese in Prince George's. Johnson says he wanted to make the documentary lighthearted. The film shares the story of a pastor who had a heart attack while standing at the pulpit, and he's now working to get his church members healthy. The black communities, what happens in church goes on beyond um, you know, the confines of the church. Most African Americans uh, spend most of their lives at church. Many of our churches today, when we go to eat the food, it's not as healthy as it should be, and it's potentially killing us. Obesity is a major issue within certain populations within our community. Johnson says the church plays a huge part in the lives of African Americans, and the hope is this documentary will inspire congregations to take a more active role. I want the pastors to tell the, the members of the congregation that they need to live healthy, they need to listen to their doctors. For African Americans, the, the outcomes, once we have a heart attack, aren't as good as everybody else's. Most African American women don't even know that heart attacks and cardiovascular disease takes out more women and African American women at the very top than all of the cancers combined, breast cancer, all the other cancers combined. We, we need to stop making excuses for not treating ourselves better. For CTV News, I'm Sonia Shervasva.